Today I got a new toy, this guy. Um, I did not know that steel, I know they make saws, they make great chainsaws, probably some of the best in the world, but I did not know they made a fixed blade saw. A handsaw like this. I went down to Texas um, the week they had all that mess and I found this in today's hardware store of all places. I could not find it online, I couldn't find it on Steel's website, I couldn't find it anywhere else. Now it's, I, so I bought it, <laughs> it was 50 bucks. I, I, I'm going to compare it to my, I've got silky saws, so I'm going to compare it to, uh, to my silky saws. Now it's supposedly the exact same thing. Um, it's a thin blade, thinner than, than my Zubat. Uh, about the same length, 13 inches. So it's it's remarkably the same. The, it's not full tang, but honestly, you don't need a full tang saw. This is easily replaceable. Pull the screws out, and you can replace the blade. Now it says it's uh, flash hardened, um, and uh, what that means is they have a a device that 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 moves along the teeth, and as it moves along the teeth through rapidly shifting magnetic fields, it heats those teeth up to critical temperature, non-magnetic, red hot, high temperature, and then right below those teeth is a jet of water that instantly cools them. So it rock well hardens these suckers to the moon. They say it's not sharpened, well you can't sharpen it. Now the thing that I, I have a little bit of um, issue with that because the same thing is true with silky saws. They do the same process, and you can sharpen a silky saw, despite what people say. You can actually buy a sharpener, a diamond sharpener for silky saws. So you should be able to sharpen these. Diamond is still harder than the steel and will still cut it. Um, one thing I like about this thing is it's got a detachable belt loop. It's literally the same thing as a Zubat. You buy the Zubat, you get the detachable blade, or belt, or, um, what is that? A sheath, my goodness. We're having trouble with words today. The ADD is through the roof. I'm, I'm like getting distracted by this rock. There's, and it, anyway, fossils, yay. That's what we're testing today. I'm gonna make a chair, and uh, then we're gonna make a fire, and we're gonna cook a steak. steak. But everything I'm doing was this saw. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it out. See how how well we like it. How well it performs. If it's as good as a silky, I do have my silky sugawaza. I think it's called. Um, or Sagoya, I don't remember which. It's a longer 420 millimeter saw. Makes cutting big logs a lot easier. So I'll compare it to that, even though it's not a fair comparison. This is a straight edged, shorter saw. That's a curved blade saw, which just naturally cuts better. So I'm gonna toss this on my belt, and we're gonna go cut some firewood. So, I first saw this, I didn't know steel made a saw. Probably covered that already. Um, I've had it now for I've had it now for several months. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it was as good as I thought it was or hope it was before I really did much with it. So um, I feel pretty confident now in giving you my honest opinion on it and whether or not it's going to work for you. That's really for you to determine. But for me, I think it's all right. It does have a place. Um, I think I still like my silky Zubat better. It was about the same price, and it's just a hair longer. Uh, it's curved, so there's that to be considered. They are about the same price. Um, if it matters to you, the silky is a full tang, where this is not. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work, and uh, let's uh, I'll, I'll see how it does. I'll tell you the goods and the bads about it, but there are a lot of trees here that are really straight. Nice straight wood, so we got some wood to gather. Let's go. Now is probably a good time to mention when I'm using a saw, and generally just a thing about straight blade saws, that when you pull them back, I feel like I have to apply more forward pressure twist motion here to get a grip up in this top because it just doesn't want to just doesn't want to grab anything. And back here, this feels like the power zone until about right there. So only the first half of the knot, the first half of the saw feels like it's doing any work. 
when I get out here to the edge and it just it's too uh, stressful it puts a lot of strain on the wrist here so a lot of a lot of my strokes are short just to you know give it the most power I can without having to push a lot of force so from here back it cuts really well but up here in the tip it just feels like I'm running out of juice all right so so what do I this is uh this is it this is my chair it works pretty good just uh, tip when you're when you're putting the rungs on don't put all the the big ends on one side or you end up with uh, it, it like this right here you see I've got a couple inches over here and nothing over on this side this this one's wanting to fall off and that's just because of the way I put these put these guys on here if any of them are crooked or funky shaped that's that'll end up that way too maybe it'll work better that way Anyway, you can toy with it if you want. You can rope these things down. I've seen a lot of people do that, and that can help quite a bit too. Orienting, orientating them, orienting them, orienting, orienting. Yeah, orienting. It sounds racist for some reason. Orienting the orienting. Oh, geez. Arranging them so that the way they bend is is going to be conducive to the way you're going to they're going to receive pressure. And this one is not, but kind of doesn't have a. A right position maybe there but uh, I'm getting far too picky with this anyway they'll they'll settle down and or just tie them down but so the saw I do like it um, would I purchase it again um, if it were cheaper for 50 bucks I, I think it was a bit much it's uh, yeah, if it were a bit cheaper, I'd probably go for it again. I think 50 bucks is a is a bit much, um, just because of the, the like I was mentioning before the I found I was holding it up here more because of just the pressure on this end causing pain in my wrist to having to force that end down. Um, where with a curved blade, the angle of the individual blades change relative to what you're cutting so you're cutting like this this does not the force is always this direction of the pull saw and when the teeth are then going pushing themselves into something it should well let me show you i always bring my back up in case and let's not use our finger let's use this so right now the teeth are facing exactly exactly parallel with the surface that I'm cutting but if I as I move this back they start to come at the piece at a bit of an angle which in turn drives them into the wood uh, and I don't care which direction you're cutting from that that factor works uh, with a flat blade it doesn't do that they always they're always parallel with your cutting surface let's get that in view so with a with a straight edge, that isn't the case. They're always parallel with your cutting surface. Uh, and so when you get down here, you have to rely on your wrist to push downward um, to maintain a forceful cut. Now if you wanna do something gentle work, that tip is really good for that. Like when I was notching, I wasn't always up here. But I, when I wanted to cut some, I'd grip up here and I would pull and cut most of the material with just these the first two-thirds, first half of this blade. Uh, I don't ever have to do that with this one. I do change the way I hold it just for different reasons, make it more comfortable, but the, the angle of the teeth grab a lot, make it grab a lot better. Any, I don't know, I'm just rambling now, but curved blade is 100% my choice every time, especially uh, silkies, they, they just seem to, to work better than any other sod, more comfortable. This is a lot lighter weight. So if I wanted a full tang knife, a lightweight full tang knife, this is probably my first choice. Um, if I didn't go with, say, a medium tooth gomboy, which is another silky folding saw, and it's a, you can get it in curve or straight, um, I have a straight edged folding gomboy, which has medium teeth. And on hard words like this stuff and, and this stuff, maple and and oak and all that it's it works pretty dang good anyway that's my two cents would i get it again yeah i don't know 
they're cheaper, maybe 30 bucks, absolutely. 50 bucks seems a bit much, but love your faces. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.